forsaken, gather us in the blind and the lame. All right, let's do this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the edition of Uber Farmer Cigar Garage Talks. We're continuing on with our um, sideshow cigars from Diesel. Tonight we're doing the Bearded Lady. I didn't light it first. I want to show that off. That's the Bearded Lady right there. Uh, the wrapper stops there. That's nothing but filler. Um, so give me a second. I'm going to light this, and then we'll get on with the rest of the show. So stand by. And like movie magic, we're back. Cigar is lit. Uh, this one with the Bearded Lady, um, like a lot of cigars, have that little bit of just the filler. Um, that first little bit is a interesting flavor sensation. Um, so you don't want to ruin it by pre-lighting it and then I can't show you and then you want to light it on screen because you're going to miss it on the taste. So um, sorry about this little disconjointed video, but what are we doing tonight? Um, tonight I am sending a special shout out to another YouTube channel, Yakin' and Snackin'. Um, these guys, one of them, uh, Big Ben, I actually knew from a previous life. Um, he actually did a uh, one of my food suggestions, actually. Thank you very much. Yeah, there. He had the uh, Uper Farmer uh, send him a little voice message to offer to send him some, uh, some of that their jerky, you know, that venison jerky. Because, uh, you know, those boys, they said they're hungry. They got to be that yakking and snacking all the time. So I offered to send them some of that their jerky. All right, I'll stop that. Um, <laughs> I sent him a, a video and a little uh, sound clip putting on the full Uper Farmer accent. Um, I don't know they'll ever play it. I know they got a kick out of it. Uh, but yeah, the premise of their show, they have some uh, food combinations. Uh, they'll combine them together, uh, try them on screen, give their critiques, and then they try to make the keto version. Um, and now I, I know what keto is. That's where you basically try to cut out every single carb you can. Uh, if you do have some carbs, you get off balance with some fiber. And then basically you're eating nothing but protein. Um, so, you know, pass the meat. Here comes the meat. Uh, I'm not a good, good uh, practitioner of the ketos. Um, as I told them, I don't know if the deer I sent him was keto or not, but, uh, you know, it should be, should be good. Good deer. Um, so anyhow, I thought it'd be fun uh, for tonight. I'm going to do my own yakking and snacking. Uh, besides a delicious cigar, the Sideshow from the Diesel Company, we're going to combine a couple of drinks um, tonight for our drink. So we'll try them individually. We'll put them together, see how it turns out. Um, spoiler alert, uh, these are not keto. There's no, uh, no keto version of a what essentially is going to be a glorified rum and Coke. But what do we got tonight? We have Coca-Cola Year 3000, limited edition. Um, I'm going to try some of this straight here real quick, and we'll get on to the other drink. So apparently this is what they envision their Coke is going to taste like um, in the year 3000. So there's the Coke. Let's see how it tastes. Interesting. Um, let me pour a little more in the glass there. There's like no flavor to this. This reminds me kind of Pepsi Clear almost. That is... Um, that's unique. Um, like I said, there's really no flavor. Like nothing big jumping out. There's definitely not the Coke flavor. Um, that is almost carbonated brown water. Let me give that one more taste there. No, I usually don't do tasting notes in these videos, so don't hold me to this. It even seems less acidic. Let's see, anything fun in the ingredients? Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel coloring, natural flavorings, caffeine, and a little bit of preservative. Yeah, um, hmm, interesting. Okay. What do we have to, to add with this? Um, 
a little bit of cherry bounce made with rum. I know a lot of guys make it with vodka. Um, I ate all the cherries out of it. I think there's one. I don't know if the camera can see it. I think there's like one cherry that sunk to the bottom. Um, I made cherry bounce. Um, I make mine a little bit differently. I actually um, use freeze-dried cherries because I have a freeze dryer. Um, so I'll use freeze-dried cherries. I like that because it doesn't water down the, um, the rum. So the sugars does dilute it a little bit. So 45% rum is what I put in there. Um, I actually filtered the rum. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. I filtered the rum through just a water filter to kind of remove some of the impurities, make a little more pure flavor. You don't have to, but essentially what I did is put freeze-dried cherries in that rum, uh, let it sit for, what's that, uh, three months. So there we go. Let's give this a little try. Yep. Good, uh, strong cherry flavor. A little bit of a burn snuck in there, which I'm kind of surprised by. I'm guessing it pulled some sort of chemical out of the cherries um, because when I was filtering it, it was very, very smooth. Uh, but now there's a little bit of a burn going on. Um, I did learn I made it. This is actually my second jar. Uh, the first jar, I actually squeezed the cherry, the juice out of the cherries. Um, I thought that would just add a lot more flavor and uh, a lot more volume. Sadly, it turned a nice cherry bounce into cough syrup. Um, so I was toting on a bottle of cough syrup. I uh, made a lot of rum and cokes with that one. This one is a good sipping drink. Um, after a nice meal, sit down with it, <clears throat> take a few little sips off of it, and you're good to go. But... What's going to happen? Yakking and snacking. Hopefully I'm doing this right. We're going to add the two together. So now we have <clears throat> homemade cherry bounce with year 3000 Coca-Cola. Interesting. The burn is gone from the cherries. Um, it actually sucked up some of the, the cherry flavor. Like I can't taste the strong cherry from the cherry bounce. That's very unique. Um, let's go in for another little another little taste here. What's also really neat is I added a full shot into this glass, um, which only probably has like maybe two to three ounces in there. Um, so I was kind of expecting the cherry bounce to come through and the alcohol to come through a lot, a lot more than it actually is, but it is not. Uh, very mellow flavor. Like that, I, I, again, I've had the cherry bounce in Cokes before, and you can definitely taste, taste the cherry bounce. Uh, maybe there's a chance the cigar is depleting my taste buds. Um, I've had a few people comment to me that, you know, drinking beers and commenting on their flavor when you're smoking a cigar is not the best thing because cigars can diminish your taste. Um, so maybe that's to blame. Maybe it's this uh, kind of Maduro cigar, because now I'm definitely into the wrapper part. That's messing with me. I have to admit, that's actually pretty good. Um, year 3000 Coke with some cherry bounce in it, homemade cherry bounce. That could be dangerous right there. Um, that could be something that uh, you're going to have to be careful with, because... That went down, it's going down smooth. Very tasty. Um, yeah, I am surprised by that one. Just like the Yakin and Snackin crew, they have some combinations out there. The Holiday Burger, one of my favorite, putting a cookie on a hamburger. Who would have thunk that, huh? That's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, yeah, I don't mind that at all. I could definitely drink that. I can see myself drinking that. That's really good stuff. Sadly, it's a limited edition this year, 3,000. Who knows? They'll come out with it again. But that, almost, that, that Coke does taste like it has nothing added to it, um, which is interesting. But, I mean, it's, uh, 
Yeah, kind of an interesting surprise. That's why I do like watching that yakking and snacking. Uh, one, I, I know Big Ben very well. I hope to actually get to know uh, Big Ike Smalls. Um, <clears throat> both of them, great comedians, funny guys. Uh, those are two people who I know I could sit down and have just a blast, a great time drinking and eating. Um, neither of them really smoke, so I'll, I'll smoke the cigars by myself. But I, I could see just the laughs a minute. Um, telling stories, telling jokes with those guys, I really could. Um, I look forward to it. And again, I don't believe in bucket lists. But if I could, if I can, I'm going to do what I can to try and get down to where they live and maybe sneak onto an episode. Uh, might try to do a uh, little collab with them, a long-distance collab. Although I think Big Ben is uh, a little burnt out of trying to do those. I've done them with them before for other topics. Um, and they, they can be technological nightmares, which can absolutely ruin uh, the show. So I get it. I understand why he doesn't like doing them. But, yeah. I highly recommend it. I will put links. I'll put video links. I'll uh, drop their name as best I can. Do all the all the things so you guys can find yakking and snacking. Um, like I said, great, great guys. Both of them. Um, I, like I said, I know Big Ben better. Um, Big Ben, who I also knew as Clincy. I've talked about him here on my channel quite a bit. Um, he's talked about me on some of his channels before. Um, just a really, really nice guy. And again, I don't know Big Ike, um, but I'm pretty sure from what I do know of him, another super stand-up great guy. Um, I'm glad I can help them out when I can. And I just can't wait to see what they put out next. They're doing a fantastic job. Don't know if they'll ever see this video. If they do, gentlemen, please keep it up. Um, I am proud I can be part of this, uh, the yakking and snacking crew. I'm staying hungry for the next episode. Um, yeah, I hope you guys do great. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go finish this surprising uh, Cherry Bounce in Year 3000 Coke. As always, the Sideshow Cigars. This is what I look forward to all year when they when uh, Diesel Cigars release these. Some of my favorite cigars to smoke because they're unique, they're odd, they're different. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, and I just, I like the strange. So anyway, yakking and snacking, boys. Big Ben and Big Ike Smalls, if you guys are watching. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Can't wait to work with you more in the future. Keep up the good work. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.